Hey everyone, Marcy here from the Wild Foods team. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that is very hard for me to admit because it's about something that I love and I don't want to give up and that is candles. So candles smell great. The scented ones are my favorite. This one is winter scented and this one is berry or something and as much as I love them I realize now that I have to give them up and that is because there is a ton of research about how scented candles are very dangerous for human health. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the parts of the candle that are toxic. I'm going to tell you guys about studies which have shown the potential health risks associated with scented candles and I'm going to tell you guys about why candles are especially bad for children. Let's start with how are scented candles made? Though they seem safe, regular scented candles are, huge source, are a huge source of indoor air pollution and they put off chemicals that are considered just as dangerous as secondhand smoke. Paraffin is a petroleum waste product that has to be deodorized and chemically bleached before it can be made into wax. Most candles are made of paraffin wax, which creates highly toxic benzene and toline, which is burned, both are carcinogens. In fact, the toxins released from paraffin candles are the same as those found in diesel fuel flames. Let's read that line again, guys. In fact, toxins released from paraffin candles are the same as those found in diesel fuel flames. So let's just pause for a second there and think about that. When you're lighting up your pumpkin spice latte candle, you're actually lighting diesel fuel flames. Just think about that. So on top of that, many scented candles also have wicks that contain heavy metals like lead and even a few hours of burning them can create levels of airborne heavy metals that are much higher than the acceptable limits. In the U.S., candle wicks are supposed to be made of cotton or paper, but studies have found that as much as 30% of candles contain heavy metals in the wicks. So, so far we've got the information that the wicks are dangerous and so is the wax that they're actually made from. So, so far there is nothing healthy about lighting a scented candle in your home. A candle with lead core wicks release five times the amount of lead considered hazardous for children and exceeds EPA pollution standards for outdoor air. And other toxic chemicals that may be present in the paraffin mixture and release through burning include acetone, I'm not sure how to say that, but it doesn't sound good, and all of these things. Seriously, just take a look at all of these chemicals. Some of these toxins are found in other products such as paint, lacquer and varnish removers. That's potent and powerful stuff. Additionally, petro suit from paraffin candles gives off the same suit as the exhaust of a diesel engine and is considered just as dangerous as secondhand smoke, causing problems from headaches to lung cancer. So next I wanna take you guys to a separate article that I found and it's actually cites a bunch of studies um, about candles and their potential potential harmful effects. So this is from Women's Day magazine and we'll start right here. A 2009 study out of South Carolina State University also warns about chemicals emitted into the air upon burning candles. The researchers found that burning paraffin candles produced undesired chemicals like alkanes, alkalines, and toline, which can have harmful effects on humans. For a person who lights a candle every day for years or just uses them frequently, inhalation of these dangerous pollutants drifting in the air could contribute to the development of health risks like cancer, common allergies, and even asthma. If you don't want to give up those delicious smelling scented candles, what can you do? So we're going to hop back over to this article and read about alternatives to scented candles. Beeswax candles are a source of negative ions and can help reduce indoor air pollution. 
So according to this great awesome article from Wellness Mama, um, she recommends using a case of votive beeswax candles, nine hour burn beeswax candles, or a case of tea lights. You'll notice that she doesn't recommend any scented, scented candles, and that's because, as we talked about, usually the scents that they use in the candles are extremely toxic themselves. Here she talks about instead of using scented candles, she uses oils um, to freshen the air and the smell of her house. So maybe try that if you really love having a scent floating through your house. That is all I have for today's video. I hope this helped and if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We always appreciate y'all's support. Make sure to hit that little bell icon for notifications. We'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.